Hey guys, welcome back to Darkest Nightmare Haunt, your 2020. So this is episode two of the build, and what I did last episode was put up all of these pipes for the walls, and what I'm gonna do this episode is actually put the plastic on the walls. So I've already done about half of the haunt off camera, so I'll just show you what I have. So yeah, this is what I have in terms of the haunt walls. Some of them don't have plastic yet, like this one. There should be a wall here, and then a wall there. That's just so it's easier to get around. Um, but yeah, basically the first scene is done. This is what I like to call the first scene. It's kind of a open room. And I'm keeping it pretty similar to last year. Uh, as you can see, we got like the TV. Um, I'm gonna put up that light. And then uh, I've also done the tunnel. So the tunnel is something I've done um, for the past four years of this haunt. This is actually the fifth year that I've been building this haunt, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to keep the tunnel the same this year. I'm going to continue it. Um, and it's a really cool effect. It works out. I really like it. So what I'm going to have though is inside here, it's pretty dark. I'm going to put um, curtains. Not curtains, but more like streamers uh, all down here. I did this a little bit last year, so I want to improve on that and put more streamers and hanging body parts in here. And I think it's a really cool effect. Last year it worked out really well. So yeah, another thing that we do in this hallway is, as you can see, we have flaps on either end. We have these plastic ones and then the curtain. And there's going to be a smoke machine in that corner which pumps this entire room full of smoke and then we have a strobe light up here and this creates like a really trippy effect. You're going to be walking through here and the entire room is just flashing on and off. Pretty disorienting plus you have all of the body parts hanging down, all of the streamers. It looks really cool so we'll be keeping that similar to last year and this is what we have to work on in this episode really. Just get all the plastic up here. Um, it does take a long time, so I'm not gonna be doing a time lapse this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is actually putting the backdrop on these walls. So we're gonna be using the same backdrop as last year. So I've hinted at this prop before, but let me just explain exactly what it is. So the window prop is, we have this window, um, and that's gonna go on the other side of the plastic, we're gonna have a hole in the plastic so you can see through. And then this TV gets pressed up against the window and what we have is a Atmos effects um, video. They're a company that makes digital Halloween effects. So the video is basically zombies that are kind of like banging on the window and like sp uh, spreading blood all over the window. It looks really cool, I already tested it out. And so that's, what I'm gonna do here with the window. All right, so I'm gonna put up those backdrops and then also finish this wall. And this scene should basically be done after that. So let's do it. Let's put up this wall before I can finish the back top, so let's do that. Alright, I got the backdrop up, and what I also did was put up this red light, and it makes this scene look really, really cool. So you can come back here, yeah. Just makes it look a whole lot better. Uh, and I think it matches the scene pretty well. What I also did was put up the strobe light in here. And this kind of gives you a better idea of what it's going to be like. So I'll have to put up all the curtains. But the strobe light looks really cool. This isn't even, um, this isn't even how bright it really is. Because when there's fog in here, it basically like, the light refracts off of all the fog. And basically fills the entire room with like flash, with like bright 
white flashing light. But yeah, I think this scene still needs just one more thing to kind of make it come all the way together. So, what I'm going to do is... And I think that looks a bit better. So yeah, this is the zombie prop. He is animated, but I don't know. I, I never really turned him on. I want to try to get um, like another step pad for this guy and try to activate him. But last time I tried to do that, the step pad actually didn't work. And I think it's a problem with him. Um, I'll still try to hook him up, but at this point, I think I'm just going to have him as a static prop. Um, even though he looks really cool when he's animated. And so, put the arms out and he looks kind of cool in this scene. But it's coming together. And then we're going to have the zombie window over there. So, this scene is basically all good to go. Um, it's going to look really cool. So, still have a lot to do though. I'm going to put up a bunch of these walls and hopefully get the entire haunt plasticed up. So, let's do that. Okay guys, so I got all of the walls done. Actually, not all of them. I still have two left to go. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of cutting it short here because this episode has uh, taken really, really, really long to make. I just want to get it out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, in the next episode, we're going to basically finish everything, all the walls, get the lighting up, get this fence up, basically finish it in that episode. So yeah, I'm going to cut it uh, right here, guys. Uh, like I said, I just want to get it out, uh, out there because it took like a week to make. Also, you can expect to see videos on the new prop that I'm making, which I still have to make. Um, but yeah, there's like 10 days uh, to Halloween, so I got to get to work. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you in the next episode. Um, bye.